There is a legal theory that states, in order for a crime to take place, three things must be present. Means, motive, and opportunity. Of course, most of the time misbehaviors are not crimes, but the theory does highlight a universal trend in human behavior. Let's start out with whether a student has the means to misbehave. There are multiple ways students can misbehave in class. Identifying potential means of misbehavior, such as cell phone use, allows you to employ strategies and create policies limiting those means and thus reducing unwanted behaviors. One great strategy that we like to use is cell phone volunteers. Next, ask what motivates your students to misbehave. Misbehavior doesn't exist in a vacuum. Students are reacting to internal and external forces like boredom or a desire for attention. Rather than only resorting to consequences for disruptive behavior, be intentional with the way you reinforce positive behavior by using classroom reward systems. And when you focus your lessons on active learning, your students won't have time to be bored. Lastly, pinpoint what in your classroom environment creates the opportunity for misbehavior. Take some time to identify the opportunities for distraction that exist within your classroom and create strategies and structures to combat them. Strategies such as proximity control and seating charts are very helpful because you're removing the opportunity for your students to act inappropriately without serious consequence. When trying to stop a misbehavior, consider the means, motive, and opportunity in your classroom that facilitate the unwanted action. Addressing just one of these three factors will allow you to begin creating successful interventions and promoting a positive learning environment.